I'd like to share with you how my life has changed since I've gone MGTOW and taken the red pill. I was married for several years and I had a few children as a result of that marriage. This video really is for anybody, for young people to see what you could potentially have in store for you in the future and why you should definitely go MGTOW, or for older people to maybe see what we have in common and to compare notes. The first change in my life since taking the red pill is that my health has improved quite a bit. Specifically, you can look at my blood pressure. When I was married at the end of my marriage, I remember it crept up all the way as high as 140 over 90. And at first, I just attributed this to my family history of hypertension. But in the years since, it's gradually gone back down, and now my regular reading is about 120 over 80. It's amazing how much a lack of stress can cause your health and your blood pressure to return to normal. Then there's my diet. I can choose to eat the foods that I like, and also the foods that are best for me. I'm lactose intolerant, and so I don't have to worry about hearing anybody say I'm a complainer for not wanting to eat dairy food. I also like to eat meat. And a lot of women don't, as you know. A lot of women avoid red meat, and they're more likely to be vegetarian. So it's great. I don't have to get into a debate any time it comes to mealtime. Also, there's more peace of mind, and that's a huge aspect of your health. I wake up in the morning feeling rested and just overall at peace. It's kind of like the scene from Office Space where Peter wakes up, and he hears all those messages on his voicemail, and he just ignores them. And he just turns over in his bed, hits the alarm clock button, the snooze button, and just goes back to sleep. And he's just totally relaxed. That's how I feel. The second major change for the better is my finances. Even though I pay child support right now, I am still in a better financial position. Go figure. There's a saying that women can bring in more crap in the back door of a house with a spoon than a man can bring in the front door with a forklift. After my divorce, one thing I was able to do was enroll in a college program, and I worked my ass off, and I really was able to concentrate fully. As a result of that, I graduated at the top of my class, and I can tell you for a fact I would not have been able to do that if I were in a marriage, or really any relationship with a woman for that matter. My performance is better at work. You know, when I was married, I'll never forget there was one time where my boss at that time, she asked me, she said, is everything okay at home? And I'll never forget that. And I guess it must have been obvious by the look on my face and how I acted. And then I was just beaten down daily. She must have noticed that and I didn't even realize how obvious it was. But now it's totally different. I've gotten employee of the month. And like I said, I'm getting excellent reviews. The third major change might surprise some of you. I have a better relationship with my kids now, even just seeing them only on every other weekend and on vacations, than I did during my marriage. This is because I am allowed to be the father that I want to be, instead of feeling controlled and being the father that my ex wanted me to be. I can do what I want with them. I can raise them the way that I want on my time. We can do the activities and the things that we enjoy, that boys and men enjoy. I sometimes wonder if I had stayed married and you were to fast forward 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, what my relationship would be like with my kids at that time. And I have to say honestly, I think it's going to be better now as a result of the decisions I've made. The fourth change is that I have a restored relationship with my family and friends. A lot of you know that when you are with a woman, they want you to put all of your focus on them, to put all your eggs in one basket. And as a result, we often cut off our friends that we've had for years, and we often don't talk to our family, at least in the way that we like to and normally would. Now I'll be texting my friends all the time, calling them on the phone. When I go back to my hometown, I'll be visiting with them and hanging out with them all the time. The fifth and final way that my life has changed for the better is that I feel like myself again. This really took a few years after the divorce. All along, I was sacrificing who I was. You know, marriages are centered around the wife, 
her family, and her identity. Husbands are just add-ons, and you really don't matter. You come after the dog, even, as far as priority goes. Even though you are the one that carries all the burdens and does all the work. That's all I have for today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And also subscribe to my channel for more topics like this in the future.